Hi guys, today is going to be a video about my third day in Paris. Uh, my second day was actually my appointment at the flagship store. Um, about that video, I'm gonna clearly about that appointment, I'm gonna do totally separate a video. But today I'm gonna talk about my third day, and on my third day, I visited uh, Hermes on Rue de Sèvres. And that's where we're gonna go right now. It was exceptional shopping at that store. So as I mentioned, on my third day, I went to um, Hermes on uh, Sèvres, if I pronounce correctly. I actually like that location very, very much. I believe it's one of the favorite locations of many people because clearly that boutique is absolutely gorgeous. Um, as I mentioned already, on my second day, I had an appointment um, with flagship store. I, I, I already mentioned that I'm going to do a separate video with unboxing what I got on that um, specific appointment. But I already posted on my channel one of the bags that I get offered and I had my first live um, uh, stream about exchange of that specific bag. I'm going to link it uh, somewhere over here, guys. So please watch that video as well. So now let's just look at gorgeous handbags. And the first bag you can see is uh, Hermes Kelly in gorgeous rouge ash color um it's one of my favorite colors and next to it a look at this buckle oh my goodness it's golden diamonds you cannot beat that buckle above that we can see pochette in um, it looks like gray color in ostrich leather gorgeous gorgeous handbags and then we can see um kelly 25 in orange and again birkin 25 in rouge ash it looks like rouge ash is right now on um, on kind of peak of popularity i was lucky enough to get my rouge ash uh, birkin 25 last year when i was visiting hermes now you can see again birkin 25 in ostrich um, and above that there is a picnic birkin 25 in picnic gorgeous gorgeous handbags you cannot beat those next you can see uh, mini constants in lizard it looks like kind of orangey color i don't know this color guys honestly could be one of the new colors and then it's again um, constants in cray with uh, multi kind of exotic leather leather buckle i had um, I saw this uh, handbag also in flagship store as well. Now we can see cute uh, rodeos and some other bag charms. You could never have enough bag charms for uh, Hermes handbags. Next one, we can see Picatan in, um, I believe it's Daisy Collection. And this is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> boots in uh, Himalayan uh, I mean it, it's gorgeous not much more to say except that it's gorgeous I have these boots in my collection but I have a kind of woven fabric this one it almost looks like a felt it looks like a new kind of quality of the fabric i love these boots they're extremely extremely comfortable i believe that they have right now two different um uh, heel sizes the shorter one and the taller one so i guess so i guess now is going to be a great time to just kind of get a little bit of break i usually when i come to this specific boutique always go upstairs they have kind of cute cafe and i always get myself uh, a tea and some kind of triple desserts they kind of really mini desserts really good value for money now you can see moi who shamelessly munching on that cake i should not eat any of the sweets but 
<laughs> I cannot stop myself. It was really, really delicious. Absolutely love it. As I said, when it comes to um, paste, uh, obviously there is lots of sweets to eat, but I always try to avoid sweets as much as possible. But when I come to this specific uh, Hermes location, I always, always go to this gorgeous cafe. I love the atmosphere. I love everything about that cafe. So never regret spending some time at that specific um, coffee shop. So now let's continue with the shopping. I have a little bit more uh, time left at the boutique and I want to show you a little bit more of the gorgeous uh, handbags. Um, again, we are looking at the Constance. I noticed also this time when I was in Paris, there was a quite a bit of um, display of Constances um, everywhere. Not that there wasn't a display of um, Kelly's or Birkins, but I noticed that there is some kind of emphasis on Constance's this time. Uh, so once again, you can see Constance in orange and that is the new orange, I believe. So again, uh, I believe this is actually Birkin 30, if I'm not mistaken, in Rouge Ash. Rouge Ash looks like uh, very, very on trend right now in Hermes and generally I would say in kind of you know fashion so many different uh, fashion houses they go in with the oxblood or burgundy colors it looks like it's very very popular um i believe this is again that new orange color um i believe they call it new orange pretty much exact the name uh new orange and i believe above it it's actually new white there is new orange and new white color for the hermes uh, both of those handbags are working um, uh, 30. So let's see what we see more over here. Okay, this is a picnic, Kelly. I believe it's dream of many. It's clearly a gorgeous handbag, collector piece. And uh, someone who could have this could be very, very lucky. The price, as you can see, is 17,400 euro for that handbag so it's quite expensive again you can see this gorgeous edge buckle all diamonds and white gold absolutely spectacular absolutely spectacular um so i believe this is kelly uh, dance in uh, gray color again that was the price of the buckle forty-five thousand uh, on top, I believe it's a new Kelly Elan, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Kelly Elan. Um, when it comes to Bolid, it's kind of very, very underrated handbag, but I truly believe it's a mess classic. In fact, last year, year uh, 2023, was a 100 year of production of Bolid. One of my favorite, actually, non porta bag uh, from Hermes, believe it's really, really cute. Mini or 25 or 27, all cute uh, handbags. And the last one, I think, from this shopping, it's a Birkin uh, cargo, Birkin in gray color in size 30. First, I thought maybe it's size 35. I could be wrong because you know those pockets they make the handbag look smaller but I think it's Birkin 30 in gray color cargo. So it was uh, quite a bit of shopping at um, Hermes. Um, some of the footage I did it included because some of the footage I was just truly liking some of the um, accessories, some of the small leather goods, etc. But still, I was kind of like, you know, uh, recording those little things for myself. Some of the uh, shoes, uh, simply because I like uh, those uh, shoes accessory. But I know, guys, you are here for the handbags. So after this shopping, I decided to go for dinner. 
I had uh, salmon bowl, salmon pork bowl. It was actually very, very delicious. Just a glass of wine. And at the end, again, just walking past uh, gorgeous Eiffel Towers. You can never beat that view. Anytime I'm coming to Paris, I always try to... Uh, doing some kind of rules that I can see all these historical beautiful uh, places so that was my third day I'm gonna come up with more videos about my uh, shopping at flagship store and some other days in Paris and as I said please guys watch my first ever live um, streams that I did about my exchange of Hermes handbag so that's about it for today guys and i will see you on my next one bye bye